Ghost and Beehive are great tools for creators, but they have some differences. You can think of them like fruits. One is an apple and the other is an orange. So they have different tastes and strengths. For example, one will be better for SEO and the other for monetization. And in the end, one will be better for newsletters and the other for blogs. But this also shows that Beehive and Ghost have some imperfections. Let's talk about that. First, let's talk about opening an account. Both Beehive and Ghost are easy peasy, as you don't need any technical or coding knowledge. So it will be like opening an account on any regular website. But let me share you a little secret. Ghost is only easy when you use a managed hosting like Ghost Pro. That's the option I use and it's great. So Beehive and Ghost are approved as easy tools to use even for non-technical users. Hi Tiago from the future to fix an error in the original script. For me, one of the most important things about picking the right tool is the writing and content creation experience. And here I give the advantage to Ghost because it has lots of options that the creator needs. Plus the custom HTML and code injection capabilities work better on Ghost than on Beehive. You see, these two things give you the freedom to do almost everything you want on the page. And on Beehive, the usability of them have been mixed. First, Beehive sometimes doesn't accept the CSS I try to use, and I have to use inline CSS, which is not recommended and is harder. Second, I've tried putting JavaScript on the page for code injection. Sometimes it works, others it doesn't, and I don't know why. So don't get me wrong, Beehive's editor is good, really good. It has many options like the native ability to hide ads from paid users and other advanced stuff. Another nice thing about the Beehive editor are sections. This allows you to combine content blocks in different ways to make them more interesting. So Beehive's editor is very good, but Ghost is great, even if some things require a bit more work to learn on Ghost. Now back to Tiago from the past. The benefits of using hybrid tools like Ghost and Beehive is having the blog and newsletter in the same place. So it makes sense to use a platform that has good SEO. And here you are in good hands as they are both good and have the essential things you need for people to find you online. What I like the most is that both tools are well optimized by default and you don't need to install plugins or do anything fancy. However, the main difference is that Ghost gives you more advanced options. But most users don't need the extra things Ghost has, like setting custom canonical tags, redirects, or editing the robots TXT. Yet, having those options is something I really care about, and that's why I give Beehive a good rating and a great rating for Ghost when it comes to SEO. Now, when it comes to growth, this is where Beehive shines. The main focus of Beehive is growing newsletters, and here they have a lot to offer, including email automation, a referral program, recommendations between creators, testing A-B titles for newsletters, and a lot more. As you can see, Beehive is great for growth, which is one of the best reasons to use it. On the other hand, Ghost is only okay when we look at the growing category. For example, Ghost doesn't have email automation or A-B testing newsletter titles. So Ghost is not good when it comes to these marketing things, but it's neither their core focus. And that's why Beehive is the clear winner here. Hi, Tiago from the future again. Customization on Ghost and Beehive was always one of their weakest points. But when I was editing this video, at the end of July, beginning of August, both platforms released important updates that I had to redo the customization section. So let's start with Beehive. On Beehive, the newsletter customization is great. Yes, Beehive does not have pre-made templates that you can choose from, but they give you almost 100% freedom to customize the newsletter's visual identity which is awesome because it is very easy to customize. Now, the website customization on Beehive is the new improvement they released, but only users who pay for the scale plan are able to access this at the moment. These new customization options are very, very good and make it easy to change page layout, colors, and everything in between. But if you don't pay for the scale plan, you only have two layout options that you basically cannot customize. Now, when it comes to Ghost, on the newsletter you can only customize small things like fonts, so it is very limited there. On the other hand, when it comes to website customization, Ghost has lots of options. For example, you can buy a team, hire a developer to create one for you, or create a team from scratch if you know how to code. Also, Ghost made an update that makes it easy to create landing pages without code. 
So even if Ghost is not easy to customize like a drag and drop editor, you have several options to make your website pretty. The bottom line is, when it comes to customization, Ghost is better for the website and Behive for the newsletter customization. And both platforms earn an OK rating in this category. Now, back to Tiago from the past again. Now let's talk about everyone's favorite topic, making money. Mexico. Behive is very good when it comes to making money and offers creators lots of options like memberships, where users pay to read your content, sponsorships via the ad network, paid recommendations via what Behive calls boosts, and donations. Here I want to highlight the ad network as a great revenue option. With this, Beehive does the heavy lifting of finding sponsors for your newsletter in exchange of a percentage of the revenue. This means you can focus on writing and Beehive will bring you the sponsors and money. This is pretty cool and makes Beehive one of the best platforms for monetization. When it comes to Ghost, the main monetization option is via memberships. This is the bread and butter of the platform and a very straightforward setup. You write and people pay to read your content. It's also possible to put display ads on Ghost blogs, but that's not the most common thing. And this is why Beehive wins the monetization category as it has more options. This comparison will not be complete without me talking about prices. I think Beehive prices are more generous because they have a free plan and their paid plans cost less than most competitors. I've said this in the past and I will repeat it. Beehive could raise their prices a bit and still be one of the cheaper options. So I recommend Beehive to creators on a tight budget or creators with several thousand subscribers as they will save a lot of money by using Beehive. However, I must warn you that most things that make Beehive great are only available on the paid plans. So using the free plan isn't something that I recommend to everybody. On the other hand, Ghost doesn't have a free plan. Ghost prices start at $9 per month and this price is very good value for what they offer. When your Ghost subscriber count grows, so does the price as with most tools. So Ghost will work better for creators that don't use the membership feature to keep prices low or for creators offering mostly paid content. So their revenue grows when their costs also rise. Another important thing is that if you can't afford paying $49 per month for Beehive, Ghost will be your best option when it comes to hybrid platforms for putting a newsletter and blog in the same place. So after putting the platforms head to head, we can see they are both great but have many differences. I prefer Ghost when it comes to the writing experience and SEO and Beehive when it comes to growth and monetization. And the tools are basically tied for ease of use and customization. My advice is to pick Ghost if you give more importance to the content you publish on the website, as it has better SEO and gives more freedom to advanced users. On the other side, Beehive will be the best if your newsletter is the most important part of your content publishing. Here, Beehive will be better than Ghost and keeps improving in the newsletter features almost every week. To make things easy for you, I've put the links in the description so you can open a Ghost or Beehive account when you are ready. Thanks for watching. These are some tasty fruits.